integration is really the magical word. And these two are coming together like incredible things can happen. 100% dedicated to bringing truth, beauty, and goodness into this world. But with the sheer intensity that is unstoppable. No, 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 Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we already have something prepared. Oh, let's go. No, 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 no. Yummy. Yummy. Yes. Mango. And watermelon. And papaya and pineapple. Slimmer Puggy. Puggy, Puggy. Puggy, Puggy, Puggy. Yeah. So we come down. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go. Rainbow friends, eat the rainbow. Look at that, what an abundance. Stocked for the week, <laughs> ready to go. Morning friends, in yesterday's video we did an exploration of our animal nature, of our origin. Um, we dove into the bi five biological laws, explored the question of what is our most primal needs as homo sapiens, as men and as women. And to this I wanna say something and it's a yes and of course we're not living in caves anymore we are not purely this like animals we developed a massive consciousness like a consciousness that no other species on this planet developed we are able to like think in a co more complex and systemic way that is like for our earliest ancestors for hunter gatherers would be like incredible we invented technology like this device where i'm sitting here in bali and with a couple of clicks on a equally crazy device this is accessible for you in wherever you are anywhere anytime like incredible of course um so my intention is to honor our primal origins and to design living spaces where these primal origins can really thrive and they are seen and valued. And this is my statement to this either or thinking that is so prevalent in our times. Either we are this or we are that. Either we are living on these crazy crypto islands where we are like envisioning crazy stuff all the time but are not honoring our roots and are not living in a grounded way connected with the land or we are moving back into the forest abandon all sorts of technology and live a simple life again which won't work either we are invited to integrate like integration is really the magical word that we are invited to honor it's not this or that it's this and that Hallo, 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 hallo. Hoi, das sieht ja gemütlich aus hier. Wer kuschelt denn hier am Boden? Now we're having lunch. Lunch, 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 lunch. Oh, Tempeh. Wow, Tempeh? 
That's nice tempeh, huh? Eh? Okay. Tempeh and cauliflower avo cashew sauce. Wow, and wakame algae and some cucumber. That would be an epic lunch, huh? Mm. Friends, this understanding of the interplay between our primal biological nature and our evolved consciousness is something that we can, are able to understand on a much deeper level if we look through the lens of spiral dynamics. Spiral dynamics is a psychological and cultural development framework that um, describes the evolution of consciousness in individuals and in cultures as a whole. And the primal, like archaic nature, animal nature that we are coming from, that the five biological laws are describing, is uh, depicted in the spiral dynamics model by the, by the colorists beige and purple. These are the most simple, most primitive modes of being where we are almost the animals that, um, that we were um, before evolution put us on two legs. And this modes of being, Homo sapiens, is very instinctive, very reactive, like the most basic survival of yourself and your tribe is what matters. It's a very simple life that is connected a lot to the land where a lot of wisdom, a lot of indigenous wisdom um, is rooted. And this deep primal wisdom is something that got almost fully extinguished um, by the force of our modern civilizations and that's why something like the five biological laws that basically explain how your body works <laughs> for me like nothing too fancy something that should be like should be taught in school to like third graders so that like you know how the vehicle in which you are like <laughs> experiencing this physical life works it should be like common knowledge but it is not and at the same time, we are much more than that. We are not just like the primitive human beings that are roaming around in the African savanna and that are trying to survive with their tr tribes. We created all this crazy technology and we have risen to, to a levels of consciousness that are unimaginable for our hunter-gatherer ancestors. And the spiral dynamic stage that fascinates me um, deeply is depicted by the color yellow and yellow is a is a is a mode of being that is not fear driven that is really rooted in being there is a profound sense of peace because yellow is not trying to achieve their own like ego desires yellow is just being of service to what is needed in the here and now basically transcended um this modus operandi of i need this and i need that and people need to think well of me and i need to have a lot of money in order to attract a nice partner and they need to be rich and i need to be have a lot of i need to have a lot of social media followers and so on and so on like yellow is just like okay what is needed how can i be how can i serve and this is for me at the essence of the spirit of being a custodian and that's something that is incredibly rare at the beginning of the 21st century and the stage purple this indigenous wisdom is something that is equally rare and this is something that should change because when these two incredibly powerful forces come together when a deep like connected to the land connected to the earth connected to your primal physical nature when this wisdom comes together with the broad systemic like not ego driven not fear driven but just full of service driven by an by a profound energy by a profound um, sense of purpose when these two are coming together like incredible things can happen just 
watch this YouTube movie. I don't know if you know it. Kingdom. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it here. Fuck. This inspired me deeply. It's an illustrated movie telling the story of... The real story of how... The power of light is capable of embracing the darkness and turning it around in order to spread this realm of light everywhere. So many of us get lost in this black and white thinking of this is good and this is bad and when we look into the world and we see all the evils going on, all the climate change, all the species extinction, all the depression, all the suffering, all the, yeah, all the things that really have the potential to break our hearts and to look for the evil perpetrators, well, in reality, they are just parts of a broken system. The majority of people out there that steer the big oil companies, the big pharma companies, like they're just well-meaning human beings that love their children and just want to have a good life and they're caught up in a, in a broken system. They're like not the puppet masters, they're victims of the system too. And this nicely speaks to today's topic of integrating instead of fighting, instead of black and white, good versus evil. It's about integrating, it's about embracing it's about bringing the best of all the worlds together. It's an our task to become good at the, at the game of the old earth while sitting in our new earth values. Something that is incredibly difficult. This movie inspires me to step up my game to contribute more to lean more into service and to spread this realm of light even further <sighs> this gives me sweaty hands and at the same time <laughs> enormous anticipation of the future friends let's do this let's build it Let's build a more beautiful world. All right, it's as possible. I'd love to share with you an image. An image. An image that is very close to my heart and that depicts what we've been exploring today to become a steamroller of love, to become a f like a f fucking force of nature. <laughs> you're being in front of the camera, little kitty. Like a force of nature being so powerful and 100% dedicated to bringing truth, beauty, and goodness into this world. But with the sheer intensity that is unstoppable. And every time I connect to this image, I get invited to level up, level up my game on every level, on a physical level. Just completed my 201st push-up for the day, really getting into this push-up game again to raise my mental game, to raise my emotional game, to raise my spiritual game, to expand in each of the dimensions, to connect with each of the elements even deeper with the fire, with the air, with the water, and with the earth. That's the path ahead. That's it. Nothing else. Thank you for being a part of this journey. I really appreciate your time, your energy, your dedication, your commitment, your service, your presence. Thank you for being here. Sending her for Mali. 
see you tomorrow. so much more fun to put in 100% than to put in just 80%. All fucking in, friends. All in. Nothing else.